I'm sitting here with a cup of tea in my pyjamas on the sofa Saturday morning and I'm watching the royal wedding. <laughs> I was literally just saying after the American preacher that they have to have a gospel number and this is just perfect. I love it. <laughs> Way to kick British boring butt. I, Harry, take you, Megan. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. I make this vow. I make this vow. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Hey guys, so I do feel like I'm living in stripey tops right now, I think, and also living with Rennies constantly. I think that I probably have three maternity tops and two of them are stripey, so you'll have to just forgive the wardrobe right now. Anyway, I have just met up with one of my friends who is also pregnant, she's three weeks ahead of me. We had um, a good cup and catch up in the mall <laughs> and uh I feel out of breath from just walking back with a little bit of shopping. What do I have to catch you up on? Ingemar left this morning, so he has gone on a business trip for the next week, which makes me a little bit nervous, but it's all fine. He has spoken to Bump. She is a few more weeks to bake, cook in the oven, um, and hopefully has no plans to come out anytime soon. But just in case she does, I got him to fit the ISO fix so that um, just in case anything does happen we have the, the chair sorry but it's not gonna happen we're gonna think positively it's absolutely fine we've still got five weeks to go and I still have a lot of organizing and washing and sorting of all the baby stuff to do yeah um, so right now I'm gonna head home try and make some dinner um, <laughs> this is a pregnancy problems. I'm exhausted and out of breath a lot of the time. I'm going to head to Aquafit tonight, wash my hair and then come home, sit on the sofa, watch a little bit of Netflix and then go to bed and stretch out across the whole bed for the next week and kind of try and have a long lie because there won't be an alarm going off at seven o'clock or earlier. <laughs> So yeah, there's that. I'm going to miss him. But it's all good. He's over in Kiev having a great time, hopefully, <laughs> um, meeting his new team and being very busy and important. So we will have to find ways to be busy and important too. <laughs> hey, so I'm out and about with one of the viewers. This is Karen. <laughs> She's over in Reykjavik for a couple of days. Going to the Blue Lagoon today. And I don't know if you can hear. Um, and we've just been for some lobster soup, which was 
delicious. Just showing her some street art from the cross now. Um, and then we're going to do a little drive around town so I can show her some like. And she brought me some amazing, really cute jeans and <laughs> couple of dresses for the baby a gold shoes. and the gold shoes are amazing <laughs> yep and some converse oh yes converse socks and hat yeah, yeah. so thank you very much oh, well, you're <laughs> welcome so we're at this mural now there you go <laughs> wow. that's what the south coast of Iceland looks like so I met up with Karen last night and these are the treats that she gave her baby. So we've got some super cute skinny jeans and some little converse. <laughs> what a cool little chick she's going to be. Gold shoes and some little summery dresses. She is so lucky. Well that was super random, I didn't even know that there was a cultural centre here, but which is, I feel a bit ashamed that I didn't know that, but I'm definitely going to look it up and see what activities and events that they have because it seems like a really good kind of community vibe. There was a few different stalls for charities selling different items for fundraising, um, and then obviously the swap, which is what I went to just now, can't remember if I, I don't think I even told you what I was doing. <laughs> so the Red Cross are a really good charity here in Iceland and they do um, some kind of swap, like swap children's clothes and toys um, and books and things like that. So I was hoping to get some books. They were a lot older though so I ended up getting more things for Kjartan, Ingmar's nephew, than for baby. But that doesn't matter. We got her a dress and a coat as well so it was a pretty good swap. <laughs> um, and yeah, so when I came back out, they had they had a couple of food stalls, um, but they were just setting up and I'm kind of starving already, so it wasn't really good timing. Uh, so I've headed back out in the rain and I think I'm just gonna head home and make a cup of tea and get some lunch. And then Ella's gonna come round to borrow the drill or take the drill back. Um, and I'm gonna get back to washing everything. <laughs> Behind this door is a very exciting room to be. <laughs> so this is going to be the nursery. Except this is what it looks like right now. <laughs> so I have kind of gone through everything that we have been amazingly and very kindly given by people. And I have also made a little bit of a start on the hospital bag. <laughs> so this room has quite a lot of work to do. It has to be turned into a nursery and we need to turn the bed so that we can actually fit everything in here. So this is kind of what it looks like right now. <laughs> it's just a bit chaotic. But that's okay. I can handle this. So I'll just run through really quickly what we have. I've got um, a lot of pink stuff here. Some uh, reusable nappies and some muslins underneath. These are from one of my friends here in Reykjavik. These are from an amazing subscriber. This is from Anne and she sent three bodysuits or sleep suits and they're absolutely beautiful and they were wrapped up so lovely. So I'm just going to get those ready. Okay, camera battery died. So these are from Auntie Ella, Ingmar's sister. Um, she picked up these cute little shoes and were her first Halloween outfit. So we have a little bit of dress up already. And then I have all of this mountain of clothes that a viewer here in Iceland met up with me a couple of months ago now and <laughs> gave me. Um, so massive thank you to her. So we've got a snowsuit. And then there's a couple of hats and a load of little kind of slippers um, and lots of knitted things, which is really cool. And then there's a couple of really gorgeous cardigans that are hand knitted and a coat underneath. Loads of leggings and then an absolute ton of outfits. So I'm just going to start washing all of this lot, sorting it into sizes and then getting into that wardrobe over there. So that's the first load of washing on and then these are some of the things that me and my mum bought. Um, I think that she's going to have a pretty huge wardrobe. So we have a load of 
absolutely gorgeous look how tiny that is little houses <laughs> so we've got loads of newborn um, and then I think from here onwards this is probably zero to three need to check all of this but some of these are absolutely beautiful and then there's some leggings as well yeah absolutely gorgeous her daddy bought her these when he was away on his work trip <laughs> So she's got a little bit of pink from daddy as well. And then I, I know, didn't really show her pants on the internet, but aren't these just beautiful? I mean, she's going to be the girliest girl. <laughs> Frilly bum. And then just some bibs, some of many. And then there's a whole load downstairs in the basement as well. So I will get all of these washed too. Right, so a little update. You will be pleased to hear I have my hospital bag packed. I have our daughter's bag packed. Ingemar's stuff is out ready. I have some little additions to potentially put in there. And everything else is inside this wardrobe. So it is a bit chaotic right now, I warn you. But here we go. A lot of pink. <laughs> but this is just too cute. So I've organised everything into size order in these packing cubes. Um, my mum is coming to stay for a week so once she's kind of used the room then we can actually put everything in place and get it all organised and ready. But right now I just want to show you a couple of my favourite items here. I think I have to show you this because as soon as I saw it I was just absolutely in love. <laughs> yep. Gotta have a bit of tartan. And then this was from my sister, a little dressing gown. I mean, she'll probably never wear it, but it is far too cute. And then there's a couple of summer dresses, which hopefully will be worn here. I got this. I literally, I think I'm gonna turn into one of those mums that wants to have a matching wardrobe with her daughter. I know that's really cringeworthy, but how cute is this outfit? And then the next thing is a must have a little tutu and it's got some flowers on it. It is just gorgeous. I love this colour as well. But you gotta have a tutu. <laughs> mm, lots of stripy numbers, lots of denim. There's quite a few denim dresses here. And then some good jumpers. Um, and a little hoodie with, you know, the ears on it. Yeah, so there we go. That's one side. And then the other side is all organised, so the top is kind of nappies and breastfeeding. So the next one is teddy bears and they've got towels, sleeping bags, sleep suits and I think some blankets. And then down here is a big snowsuit and then also um, the wraps. And then in this drawer we have a few toys, we've got one of those, um, oh the sheep, I can't remember his name some other cute things, all of her scans to put in frames um, and then some teething toys and things and then this is crazy, <laughs> this is full of socks, hats, bibs, tights, that and then the last one is books so we have a couple of English books and then a few Icelandic books so we're getting there around the flat at the moment there's just lots of bundles of things so these are kind of craft projects that I want to work on with my mum. There's also stuff under there which is like rollers, paintbrushes, sandpaper because I want to ideally paint this room in the next week or so and um, so we're going to fill all these random holes, paint the whole thing, paint the ceiling, scrub back the window frame and then paint it as well and then oh I'm out of breath <laughs> um, and then get new curtains so yeah I also have a load of little craft projects and some big pro projects that I would like my mum to help with because she's very talented in all these kind of projects um, and potentially has a bit more attention span and energy than me at the moment. So hopefully in the next vlog you will see a bit of progress on this room and some of these craft projects. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye guys!